We've got a really good presentation now, um, really visually, ve very compelling. Our, our next speaker says that businesses are miserable and boring at communicating. He has an exciting idea that could shake up and wake up your staff meeting. So please help me welcome the co-founder of Sharp Cloud Software, Mr. Sarim Khan. Hey, hi everyone, I'm Sarim Khan, co-founder of Sharp Cloud. Uh, Sharp Cloud is a very uh, new and visual way for enterprise businesses to share their stories amongst not only their employees, but also with partners and other cl collaboration groups. So actually what you're seeing on the stage here, that is Sharp Cloud running. And I guess before we do the demo, if I just explain how we got here and, and why we created the software. So I guess the story actually starts back in 1990 when Microsoft released a little product called PowerPoint, which even to, still to today, everybody's using for sharing a lot of their enterprise stories. Uh, and, and that's now, I think, that it seems like the right time for companies to be looking at a new product, a much more collaborative and a visual and more engaging way, and maybe not so linear in sharing some of the more um, complex stories. So probably I think in, in my world, about five years ago, I used to run another analytics company, and about five years ago people said to me, it's not just about the numbers. When we make these decisions, we need numbers. We need some context around those numbers, and we actually also need this real-time feedback. But, but more than that, when we share it with executives, it needs to feel sexy, and that, that sort of connected, sexy feel didn't really exist. And really, that's where Sharp Cloud comes in. So just to, um, we'll do the live demo here on stage. Uh, so this is Sharp Cloud running in the iPad, and we're looking here at uh, an IT roadmap. So traditionally, this might be a PowerPoint presentation that you might receive and you kind of look at the PowerPoint and you don't really understand what's going on with this roadmap. But here we can see the swim lanes for the roadmap and I can open up any of the items and inside the items, we have these three core things. We have some data, so some data about this initiative. So it could have been innovation or a portfolio roadmap. It could be anything that you're reporting a little bit of data on. The collateral that you need to support, maybe videos even, SharePoint documents, um, potentially even nested stories in Sharp Cloud if there is a more complex story for this initiative. And lastly, and very importantly, this peer feedback. So the team can now report to me as the, as the director about this particular product. So when we were creating this system, uh, I, I guess with the research community we were working with, they were very enterprise, large enterprise businesses, and lots of what they were talking about was making it feel like the data and the dashboards could be live and connected. So here what we're looking at is we're looking at a roadmap uh, for IT and we can see the relationships between lots of different items on this. Uh, and actually we can see what direction they're related also. But if I double click on these, I go into what we call relationship mode. So you can see that I'm kind of now traveling through. It's a bit like a mind map. It's a bit like a mind map, but on the, on the live data and just available so that in a meeting I could actually have this discussion. I guess the difference is on a mind map, sometimes you can end up at the edge of a plane, whereas in Sharp Cloud, what we, what we did was we said, well, everything can actually be connected to everything else, and what you're looking at becomes the center of the screen, so you never kind of end up on the edge of a plane where you're trying to connect things to the, the, another edge of a plane, and, and this is obviously all connected to the rest of your collateral and content. Okay, I'm just going to put the filter on and show you a theme here. So I've now clicked on the innovation theme in our roadmap. So again, when we were in these discussions with the enterprise companies we were with, one of the things they would often say is we need an efficiency. We, we find, we ask the question to our teams and it might take them a month to come back and respond with the answer. But because this is a live dashboard, I can, I can very quickly see my innovation theme across my roadmap. And I can very quickly see there is a white space in software between these two projects here. So we have a five-year white space. So a good, a good thing here for our meeting is can we fill this white space with a software project? We, do, we, do we actually know what's happening within the software projects team here? Okay, I'm going to go to a new view here. This is um, our compare view. So for anybody who does any portfolio management, this is uh, essentially a bubble chart. And again here, because in Sharp Cloud we're storing some data, we can use that data to compare 
uh, different items or different projects, if you're looking at them as projects, in the roadmap. So here we're looking at actually comparing cost and benefit. So you can see the two axes, cost and benefit. And actually, the, the size of the box in this particular view is based on risk. So very quickly, I can see that ambient computing down here is very high benefit, but uh, very low cost. So it could be an exciting project, but it's a really big box. So it's, it's, a, high, it's a high risk project. So we might be better off looking at a project that's not as high benefit, but lower risk. And, and these are the kinds of insights you can get real time from our software when you're in meetings and actually sharing your complex business stories. Just to obviously it, uh, reiterate, it's a collaboration environment as well. So there is a, a full collaboration thread baked into Sharp Cloud. I think we would say, you know, collaboration for our, from our perspective is, is now man, it's a mandatory thing in all modern products. So I, I, don't, I don't even see collaboration as a, as a separate entity. I think it should be in every product you have. Um, so here I can see all the notes from the team on this particular story. We'll, we'll just do a couple more views. Um, this is the grid view in Sharp Cloud, and this allows me to put things in buckets. So if I'm preparing for a meeting, I might say that some things on my roadmap are more, um, are, are, are more sort of interesting for the next meeting. So I could put them into the hot, the hot category. Really what this allows me to do is to create an ad hoc report. So if I was in a uh, project portfolio environment, I might create an exceptions report. So if you're looking at capital projects or even innovation projects, if they were outside of their tolerance, they might appear here when the live data is refreshed. Um, so I guess one of the questions people often ask us is, how long does it take to create a sharp cloud story? Because you kind of look at it, it looks very different to what you may be doing today. There is no programming involved to create this story. Essentially, if you can run PowerPoint and you're you know, savvy with PowerPoint and Excel, you can create this, this type of story in the morning and you could uh, save that as a template and use that template to create other stories. So you know, our, our, actual, our vision is really zero training. We want to be a consumer grade uh, application for business. I think that is again part of the future for most enterprise applications. Okay, so maybe um, a couple of views towards the end. This is a wall, a wall view where we're actually looking at um, the boxes, a little bit like post-it notes on the wall. Uh, I don't know if any of you have been involved in business uh, workshops here. So if you've ever been involved in a business workshop where you meet together, you physically put the post-it notes on the wall, and then at the end of it, somebody sends you a PDF and you kind of ignore it because you get back to work. And, and then you, for the next workshop, the day before the workshop, you open the PDF to make sure you've done your actions. That, that's a very common um, uh, process we see in a lot of enterprise businesses. And what Sharp Cloud can allow you to do is transfer that physical workshop into a digital environment. So we have a lot of customers today using Sharp Cloud as part of an innovation workshop or um, an in, in, maybe an industrial road mapping workshop. And in those workshops, they'll actually physically in the workshop, create uh, on a touch screen the sharp cloud boxes, move them around, and then people will leave the workshop with um, the workshop actually the document on their iPad. So the workshop becomes a living and breathing uh, thing rather than just something that comes to you in a linear fashion via your email. Okay, just a couple of other uh, nice little features to talk about, and I think I might take some questions. So. Um, so really, if I'm honest with you, we've got a couple of views now which are quite traditional views. We have um, a, ben a donut and a histogram. Uh, I guess from my perspective, we felt that enterprise wanted these views. We, we, we probably felt that we, don't, we didn't want to be so traditional, but every enterprise we go to wants quite traditional stuff as well as the really cool, sexy stuff. So we've got some really normal views in here as well that I guess people really like. So this is just a, a benefit donut where you can see the hardware um, segment, the hardware category has the most benefit in this, port, in this uh, roadmap. And actually I can see that probably the internet of things is providing me the most benefit. So very quickly I can drill down to this data and I could even, I could even send a message to the team here and say, hi guys, tell me more about this project. You know what's happening. What's happening with this project? I, I just I'm interested. 
So again, very quickly, I've drilled right down to something uh, that probably would, would have been very hard for me in PowerPoint. And lastly, we have this kind of very cool uh, 3D view, which a lot of people use for presentations. Um, and sometimes, uh, if, you're at a, if you're in a booth, if you come to our booth in, co in the Coden Hall, we are constantly running these presentations. So there is a presentation layer above Sharp Cloud. So it's not just um, a, 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 essentially a BI tool. It's a, it's a bit of data. It's a bit of feedback, uh, a collaborative feedback. It's all the content around the data. It's the relationships around the content. And then it's this sort of very cool presentation layer. So sometimes people say to me, what segment are you in? You know, what's the Gartner segment? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. You know, I don't, I don't think there is a Gartner segment, you know, because I don't seem to see one for enterprise communication. But we sort of do all of those five things that I've just mentioned, that I just mentioned. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, there's a gentleman right here. Can we get a microphone to him? Hi there. Um, thanks for the presentation. I'm just wondering, does the software allow for on-premise installations? Okay, um, it's a good question. So a lot of our companies are enterprise companies. I guess when we first started, we assumed that all enterprises would just move to the cloud a few years ago when, when the cloud became the big utility that it, that, it, that it first was when it was launched. But actually what happens is in real life, as you'll probably know, Everybody's interested in the cloud, but actually when it comes to using, uh, storing sensitive data, you probably want to store it behind your firewall. So Sharp Cloud has three different uh, implementation models. There's a full SaaS service that you can buy on the cloud. We're on the Microsoft Azure cloud and we're hosted in the US. Or there is a hybrid cloud, so you can have your own private instance on whatever cloud you want or even on the Microsoft Azure cloud. Or thirdly, you could have a full on-premise install within your firewall. And uh, many of our sort of government and, uh, and, and, and accounts where the data is a bit more heavily regulated, they have on-premise installations. Thanks. Any more questions? Um, I, I'd like to know, how is demand? You can come and sit. I can't hear you. Stand. Yeah, Getting the, feedback. The acoustics. How, how, how is demand for this, and are there certain types of companies or, or branches um, that are more interested in this than others? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's still very early, so uh, we're how, quite... Yeah, how old is this again? So we're, we're, we're about two years old now, and we've really been selling for the last 12 months. Uh, we've had the idea has sort of been around for about five years. We, Rusty and I, who run the company, we sold our last business to a company called Primavera Systems about five years ago. Okay. So we've kind of had this idea for, for a while, but really over the last two years we've, we've been going to market. Um, I think we're very surprised at how very large enterprise companies are willing to try to do something different rather than continue to send linear PowerPoints, and particularly for use cases like uh, innovation road mapping or sharing innovations. Uh, workshops and uh, understanding their project portfolios. So, you know, business workshops, innovation road mapping and strategic road mapping and project portfolios are a definite hotspot for the product at the moment. And, and we're talking about Fortune 500 companies actually trialing it. And, and I've, we've never seen that before. So in the previous businesses we ran, these kinds of customers would really come to us in about year four. So we're, we're excited about, uh, about that growth. I mean, what you're doing here really is you're, it's the end of the presentation as we know it. Because this linear thinking and linear presenting, you're totally getting away from it with, with this. Yep. You know, it's what we were saying yesterday, it's 3D, you're throwing in the element of time as yep. well um, with this. If you take this to its logical end, will there ever even be a time when we sit down and look at a presentation. Nope. <laughs> I mean, because it's, it's, I'm joking, I mean, I'm joking. But it's, it's organic, like I it's think, a process. I think the presentation, uh, the, the kind of uh, presentation software as we see it, has a good place yeah. explaining something in context. But, but often what happens in an enterprise is you are mixing contexts. So uh, we've all been there where you might have different slides across different presentations you're trying to show to a senior audience, and, and that can be quite confusing. 
because firstly it's linear, secondly it's disconnected, and thirdly it's not all in the same place. So I think e even in Sharpcad, we will, we host the presentations in the items yeah. because they make sense there. So if I have a presentation on next generation PC, that makes a lot of sense there. But if I'm presenting my roadmap in a presentation tool, then then I have to also have a presentation for next generation PC and all the other mm. all the other category, all the other actual uh, items. And that's where it becomes lost. So I think we give it a, a different dimension. Yeah, totally, yeah. I agree. Um, show of hands. Again, we, we like to do these flash polls here from the stage. Um, how many of you out there use PowerPoint? Okay, how many of you are tired of PowerPoint? So you've got a market there. Yeah. How many of you think PowerPoint is boring? And here's something, because we've talked about this at work. How many of you think PowerPoint makes people lazy? See, the lady from Florida agrees too. Yeah, I mean, this seems like something completely different, and it's something that forces us to engage here as well. So We think so. I think it's, it's, it's taken us a lot of time talking to enterprise companies to really figure out how we share this information and and as you quite rightly say the relationships and the uh, time yeah. element th we we think they're pretty unique to the way we present it's not about just visualizing data because you can't just you can't make decisions from just visualizing data it has to be a bit more than that you you said you guys have been basically on the market now for about a year um you talked about what you know, what types of industries, what about what regions of the world? I mean, where's most of your demand coming from? Okay, it's a very good question. So uh, historically, because of our background, we have a lot of contacts in the US and uh, we did a lot of work in our last business, uh, particularly out of the oil and government sectors in the US. So, so actually, if I'm honest with you, we haven't really been marketing much. We're, we just know people in some companies. So we're doing a lot of work across the oil industry and uh, public sector. But I think there's really four or five key enterprise areas for us. It's pharmaceuticals, oil and gas, aerospace and defense, public sector, um, and high value manufacturing. But, and these are all industries that have engineers and, and people who think very linearly. Yeah. So, uh, but it's amazing. They're actually the ones who are jumping on this. Yeah, I mean, I think that is a very interesting thing for us. People, people who deal with linear presentations all the time in quite complex organizations are, are now getting very tired of this because it's, it's very slow. The yeah. response rates are slow. Yeah. So the uptake in those industries is much higher because I think they feel they can break their habits. They can break these habits and actually change the way they behave and demo their products and talk about their industries. So it's, a, it's an exciting time for us. It is. Well, thank you very much. Um, excellent presentation. Any other questions before we let him go? Anyone out there? Um, okay. Well, then, Saurin, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Give Thanks him a round much. of applause, everybody.